All right, so little known fact, Barbie heads make great pencil toppers. They, most of them are just the right size. Sometimes they're a little big, and what I do is I'll stuff it with some paper clay and that'll stabilize it. Of course, you won't ever be able to use the eraser, but that's okay. And um, you can make your own designs just with the head and a pencil. And I'm gonna to explain to you how to achieve this effect. This is a really beautiful surface. It looks almost marbleized. Can you see that? That started out like that. I just used colored pieces of newsprint. In this case, I had a lot of this green a green section in the paper and um, layered it up, covered it with the paper, maclay, uh, paper clay and um, sanded until I achieved the desired effect. Now you can do that with the whole Barbie and indeed I did with this one. And she's really quite beautiful. If you see her in per person, you just, all the nuances, it's just really lovely. And some of the paper shows through, put a little bit of gold on it. I will tell you that she cracked here at the ankle, so it really pays to paper mache properly. I put plenty of layers, because that's not acceptable. Um, for this doll, I created a little mask for her. Uh, but this face that I did draw on, I used a pencil. The paper clay and pencil are very agreeable. Um, it's fun to draw on paper clay with pencil. But I catered a little mask for her so I could practice drawing faces. And I just love the mask. I made it a little bigger than her own head. And so she's kind of interchangeable. And all you need to do is draw some faces. <coughs> Put a couple holes. If you don't have a hole punch that's tiny, just use an awl. Oh, it looks like I tore a bit here. Practice drawing like a grid of faces. You can keep it as simple or as complex as you like. Um, or whimsical or funny or doll-like or, you know, whatever it is that you prefer. Uh, at any rate, you do not have to know how to draw really well. You can do two dots for an eye a dot for a nose and a circle for a mouth or something like that. You don't have to know how to paint really well because really you're only painting a little cap on her and this isn't even paint, it's alcohol ink, which if you haven't played with those, try them, they're really fun. They um, dry fast and they really stay on nicely. So this is the areas that I covered with alcohol ink, no painting involved. Um, you could, if you wanted to varnish her, give her a little shine like I did on the marbly head. Or you can leave her matte finish like I did with this one. I like her matte finish. So I hope someone will give that a try and let's see what uh, you come up with. Another way um, is with the alcohol ink. Squirt some of that alcohol ink onto your newspaper surface and then let it dry and sand it. And it's not quite as marbly as using the paper, but it still creates a nice effect. So I wanted to talk a little bit about another option for covering the surface of your paper mache doll, and that is polyform model air porcelain clay. At least that's the um, brand that I found at Michael's Craft Store. I had not seen the porcelain clay there for years, and so I was really su surprised the, a couple of weeks ago when I went and saw it. Uh, I love porcelain clay. It is wonderful. It, unlike the uh, paper clay, it dries sort of transparent, and you really don't need to sand it. It just dries smooth, and it is strong and durable. And I'll show you a little bit of how I used it in this piece. Can you see that? It's sort of transparent. You can see some of the paper underneath, the newsprint. 
right here some of this is transparent I made her head kind of just off I like it that way I'm gonna do a series of gaping mouth creatures I guess um, like this one I really like it and uh, I've made the um, mouth look glistening like it's wet and all I had to do to, to achieve that effect was put some fabric tack which dries clister oh my gosh I can't talk today crystal clear and uh, it actually a lot of times will have little bubbles so it almost looks like bubbly saliva I think that's fabulous um, if you want to play around with different tissue papers they decoupage great on uh, you know your um, paper clayed surface or even your paper mache you know whatever you prefer and like this is a checkered one that looks really I love black and white checks especially for um, whimsical pieces black and white checks or black and white stripes always seem to give that uh, sensibility of whimsy and then I wanted to show you what a beautiful surface can be achieved using this is a pattern paper that you know that you sew with pattern paper very simply made a skirt you don't even have to paper mache the legs you just paper it all the way around um, allowing it to crinkle up and create this beautiful texture uh, you want to paint it with a dark color I used a brown and then I applied gold interference paint if you haven't used interference paint before oh, give it a try it's so much fun and it really makes the texture pop I hope you enjoyed this video next week I will be talking about wings strings and fibers If you like this video please like and subscribe don't hesitate to ask any questions or leave comments and join the Facebook group called reinventing Barbie